blessings to them. I came with nothing else. I don't have money to give you. I don't have silver and gold. But look at the young men who are seated at the temple gate. You see, Peter and John said, silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, you can only give to someone that which you have. Yeah. If you don't have blessings, you cannot release them. Yeah. You can only release blessings when you've got blessings. Yeah. But some parents do not have blessings, they've got curses. And they pronounce curses because that is what is in them. Silver and gold we don't have, but what we give you, in the name of Jesus, mm. rise up and walk yeah. dead. Jesus in them. Yeah. And they were able to give mm. that Jesus to the Lamb and praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I did give a, a small definition of blessing. The blessing is a spirit, a word that has life in it. Mm. It is a word that has got life in it. Mm. That's a blessing. And you can go to the opposite. A curse is a word that has got nothing in it. It has got empty, it has got sore in it. And the blessings of the Lord, when they come, they don't come with the sore. They yeah. help no sore. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. It is a word that has got life in it. It follows the blessing and attracts blessing to him wherever, wherever he goes. Success lives in the one with blessings. Huh? And rejection lives in anyone that has got a curse. And I believe children of God, you are not cursed, but you are blessed. Yeah. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed out of the city. You are blessed when you come in. You are blessed when you go out. You are blessed with your family. It's up to you to make a choice to bring a curse into your family. It's up to you to bring a curse into your workplace. But I'm saying you are blessed. When you get into Australia, you are blessed. When you come out of Australia, you are blessed. When you get into Dubai, you are blessed. In every corner, you must be blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Success lives in the one with the blessing. That blessing is the blessing of the Lord. You see, some of the greatest blessings of the Lord are not tangible things, but richness in the heart. Is that right? Richness in the mind. When you are going to speak, you speak with a sound mind. Why do you speak with a sound mind? Because you have got the blessings of your parents. Praise the name of the Lord. Riches, even when you are a servant, yeah? when you are hard working, uh, when you are in shifts, yeah? back at home we say maricho, yeah? when you are in shift, shifting, you have got the blessings of the Lord. Why do you have the blessings of the Lord? Because your father pronounced blessings on you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Quickly, let's. I borrowed this from um, requiring. Remember that your life here is only a temporal assignment, and that your internal assignment awaits you in heaven. So blessings do not come from the the lesser to the greater. They come from the greater to the lesser. You can never be blessed by the lesser. You can only be blessed by the greater. Praise the name of the Lord. So children, when you are playing among yourselves, you cannot bless each other. You can only be blessed by your pastor. You can only be blessed by your parents. You can't, you can't say to yourself and your wife lay hands on me. You are just playing. Is that right? You cannot bless each other. You can only be blessed by the higher. The, the greater blesses the lesser. And this is the day that the Lord has sent me into this place. But I come with blessings to eat and one of them. Even when Father Ezekiel Guti comes here, you need to receive the blessings. When a bishop and an authentic bishops come into the into the city, you need to get united as children of God and say we united we stand and divided we fall. Because we want the blessings, let us go and take all the blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Living the blessed life is contrary to the world. If you are going to live the life that God can bless, you have got to go against the flow of the world. So if you go along the flow of the world, it means you are losing blessings. If you go against the flow of the world, yeah, even when you are in a foreign land, you need to remember that there is a God in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I will jump some channels of blessings. 
I've written it in Shona here, Pompey Ropa Fat. I'm going to do the channel of blessings. There is a pipe somewhere. Huh? And you need to go and, and wait where I'm going to receive the blessings. To say, I will not go today without those blessings. That's why Jacob, when he was coming back from his father in law, he had to wait at a certain corner and said, All the wives you can go. I will not go unless I'm blessed. I will not leave you. He got hold of that person and said, I will not go. When men of God come into the city, do not go without the blessings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There are three channels through which the blessings can come. And this is biblical. You can be blessed through your parents, especially your father. You can be blessed through your pastor, and you can be blessed by God. Now let's do it in reverse. You can only be blessed by God first. He blesses you by allowing you to come into the, uh, into the world. Now then you can be blessed by your parents. Is that right? When you come into this country, don't neglect your parents. Don't forget that you were born. But yes, ladies, when you get married to that man, don't forget there is a woman who was in the maternity hall one day crying, laboring, because he was getting that man who got married of you. And don't look down on those people back at home and say, no, I can forget about them, get back to me, and I'm here, it's okay. No, 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 no. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Honor your parents, for that is the only commandment yes. with a promise. Amen. Now we respect them, lift heart on them. You know, you can't be putting on nice clothes, eating nice food, when your parents are eating roots back at home. This is not the time that we look at our parents eating roots back at home and laugh at them. They are not educated. You are educated because your parents blessed you. Yes. You, are, you are who you are because God allowed you to be in this country. You are blessed by your priest. Why are we in that greeting? Why are we um, at this occasion? Why are we at this function? Because we are looking at the people who are blessed by their parents, who are blessed by God. But on a daily walk, they need a pastor who pronounces blessing on them. So many people have looked down on pastors. Mm. Amen. They've looked down on men of God. I unfortunately I'm not an Australian. I'm not an Oz. I'm a Zimbabwean. And I my culture, my background, very, very strong background of Zimbabwe. And whenever you look down on a man of God, you have looked down on your own life. When you look down on your parents, you have looked down on your own life. If you look down on God and don't honor God, you can survive and live, but you are an empty summer. Yes. Mm. I will emphasize the point that you need to look on men of God. Men of God need to live well in order for you to receive the blessing. Yeah. Men of God do not need to live like slaves. Amen. They don't have to be tortured in meetings. Their visions have to be accepted. Huh? I, I, I cannot tell you the whole vision that God gave me. Amen. But blessings were so 